ladies and gentlemen, welcome to what you are watching, Coffee and Comedy. DJ Mal is doing the mad things on the ones and twos. And I'm your host, Rizar Forbes, always bringing you all the excitement from now up until 10.30. I'm super excited today. You know why? Because today we actually have a special guest coming in. And he's outside and he's waiting for us. And he's excited. Uh, but the, he's actually a she. Because she's leaving us today. And that is Isabel Sweeney. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Isabel was like, why? I'm sure you were like, why am I being mic'd up so quick? I was quick so confused. And I was like, why do I need to stand there? Like, I don't do anything until the game segment. <laughs> so we are saying goodbye to Izzy. She's been oh. helping us on the show, um, helping us run around and with our plans and all of those things. So we're going to talk to her about her time in Cape Town and also, you know, say goodbye to her. For, uh, thank her for all of the wonderful work that she's did. But other than that, go onto our social media pages, onto our YouTube channel as well, where you can find some of your favorite shows, episodes, performances, everything that you basically love of coffee and comedy on there. And also on our social media pages, you can find out exactly what it is that we're up to and who we were up to. That don't sound like day daytime television who we did and didn't do. I don't know. Izzy is he, going to speak to us today. <laughs> that is all that I know. DJ Malas is always giving us the mad, mad fingers. I think it's now DJ Malfungus. It could be that. <laughs> Other than that, let's see what's happening on my timeline. Yes, people, welcome back. You are watching Coffee and Comedy with myself, Rizal Forbes. DJ Malus, aka DJ Malfungus, aka DJ Tukfungus, aka DJ Mandrex, OPP. I don't know, it just, it just sounds like you're doing a lot of crazy things. Our guest today is Isabel Sweeney and Izzy. Um, she's known to us by, has been doing a lot for us, you know, uh, especially when it comes to the planning of certain shows and also coming up with last minute ideas and doing crazy things that we normally don't. <laughs> and today we're actually saying goodbye to you because you're actually going back to the States. So it is your last show uh, with us today. And that is, for us, it's sad. It's like walking into a sliding door. Have you ever walked into a sliding door? <laughs> I have walked actually. <laughs> is it so? I thought or? I broke my nose. Oh, that was good. Crazy. That was good. This is is it? This is how we feel <laughs> like this because you're leaving. Oh, I feel sad as well. Yeah, <laughs> You on the other side, and then we like, we, we, we can't get there. But, so our videos today is actually kind of have an American theme. Okay. If, if so, because right. we like the movies um, in America. Have you watched any South African movies while you were here? Unfortunately, I haven't gotten to any of the South African movies. Because you're busy making TV. <laughs> yeah, I mean, exactly. look at that, look at that. <laughs> but you know the movie, I don't know DJ Malice if you can agree with me, but you know the movie's gonna be fire when that, <laughs> when the movie has that in, <laughs> then, okay, for 20th century thing, then right? you already know. So we had a remake done in oh. South Africa, okay. but I'm going to show you the original first. Right. So the remake, it don't have, let's say, the budget costs okay. <laughs> for it. This, okay. is, this is the remake. All right, let's see it. 
<laughs> it gets the job it gets done. It gets the job done. Definitely. So when you see a Netflix movie <laughs> with that guy, you know it, it was made somewhere here, somewhere here. <laughs> Um, and we obviously want to celebrate you as well for, for everything that you've done on the show. Have you had any wild ce celebrations while being in Cape Town? It was a friend's birthday once. Um, so we had a little dinner, but nothing wild, nothing too crazy. If, if that's your version of wild, <laughs> then the next video being a wild celebration, it's going to okay. leave you in awe or in our way. It's spelled the same. I don't know. Check it out. <laughs> Just randomly grab your cousin and be like, wow, I got the job, I got the job. It's crazy. Um, our fear is when you leave back to the States um, and you join a mainstream media channel or whatever, you're going to do us a dirty. Have you ever <laughs> done a teammate a dirty, an old teammate, yes or no? Yes. All right, that's all we want to know. <laughs> so in this video, the guy did his old teammates a dirty okay. and they wanted to do him a dirty back. All right. Understood. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. Oh. oh. They're still going. Yeah. So <laughs> it's, it's like when you think you achieved but they're like, no, that's the wrong achievement against the wrong people. <laughs> Our yeah. guest today is Isabel Sweeney. We know her as Izzy. Uh, we're chatting to her today and talking to her to find out how her time was. But when we come back from the air break, we're going to dive right into it. So see you after the air break. Marlis, what was that? Hey man, DJ Mal is doing the most, starting off our celebrations basically, and our, our farewell, bidding our farewells as well to Izzy, you're going back to the States, I am. back to the USA, when I told people you're American, they thought you stay in a Nova Park, <laughs> which is not the case, you're real, authentically American, and yeah, we, we just want to hear from you how your time was. Um, in South Africa, in Cape Town, working at Cape Town TV on the show and all the shows that you actually worked on. Um, but before you actually give us that answer, with farewells, um, you always kind of give someone a gift that they can always remember. Like when they, you ask them, who's their favorite artist? Mm -hmm. And you make it happen. So who is your favorite artist? My favorite artist is Beyonce. Are you sure? I'm sure. Now, back in 2010, Beyonce, I think it was 2010 or something when they did the Global Citizens and they were in South Africa when they did the Global, do you know Global Citizens? Yeah, they did that concert here and we, 2018, 2018. What? 2018. Do I say 2010, <laughs> it was 2018 and we got Beyonce's contact information Really? and she let us know that she will be in Cape Town this week Oh. and we said okay. that um, we are sending someone back to the States, <laughs> Isabel. Mm. And we asked her if she'd love to make an appearance. Okay. Today. Okay. And what'd she say? <laughs> she didn't reply to our game. Oh, okay. But that, <laughs> <laughs> that would have been fun that if she replied been great. Yeah. to the DM. 
I'm here you go, getting my hopes up. I'm like, <laughs> you like, no way. <laughs> you like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Talk to us about your time um, in Cape Town. And, yeah. And, and, and how was it for you? Is it your first time in Cape Town? It's my first time in Cape Town. Um, it was awesome. I was here for, or I've been here for three months now. Uh -huh. Um, I get kicked out after 90 days, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm staying all 89 days out of 90 Crazy. that I'm allowed here. Um, yeah, it's been amazing. I mean, just in terms of like the literal things, like yeah. it's beautiful. I've never been to a place I'm like that. like just driving. I could be driving to get food, and there's mountains, and then there's Crazy. the ocean, and there's a city, and I'm like, how is this all <laughs> happening, like, well, right welcome here. to Cape Town. And you, you will also know that the weather, you have all seasons oh, in yeah. one day. Oh, yeah, the wind. I <laughs> I just, for some reason, I've never, had, like, encountered wind like is it? this. Like I don't hectic, know. Like, real yeah, winds. Yeah, it's just, like, re always there. <laughs> Crazy. It's always windy, I feel. Because I feel like maybe the time the wind gets from here to there in America, it's yeah. light. It's, yeah. It's, 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 it's died down by yeah. then. <laughs> it's, it's already done. But um, tell us about your time working at, at Cape Town TV and, yeah. and what you've learned um, at, at the station. I think, so I've learned a lot, a okay. lot more than I ever imagined learning. I thought coming in that it would be a little bit of like a, oh, like, there's this American here. Yeah. Like, can you go get us some coffee? <laughs> um, stuff like that. And yeah. I very quickly realized that that was not the case. Yeah. Um, I think I've learned, the biggest thing that I've learned is just like, to just adapt to yeah. situations. Like they're in industry, like television, you can't just not work. Or I like if something it. goes wrong and a guest doesn't show up, you can't, I mean, we've, we've learned, that, we've learned yeah. that here. You can't just say, okay, we'll get them next week. Yeah. Like, it's just, you have to adapt and find a way to keep going. And I think something at Cape Town TV specifically that mm -hmm. I've noticed and sort of learned to appreciate is the community. Like, everybody's helping each other. They say, oh, your guests didn't show up? Let me help you yes. find something that you can 100%. make it work. That's what I there. love too. Um, the, the sense of community at Cape Town TV. Like, the guests didn't show up, let me help. My wife isn't pregnant, let me help. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, let me yeah. help. I'm not gonna say who, <laughs> but they know. I can't say, I can't say the name. But um, yeah, so tell us about the shows you've worked on and, and what you feel like you're taking back um, to the USA because um, like you said, we're a community station, not really mainstream, but I feel like this is the place where you learn from the ground. Listen, if this go wrong, yeah. you need to fix it. Because yeah. if you're in mainstream media, something barely goes wrong yeah it's and always there's, there there's and a plan b and then a plan c and then yeah, a plan d yeah. and there's always people around that are ready to step in yeah um, so for you working at, at, a, at a station where it's not always green mm -hmm. what what do you feel like you'll take back i think just being able to work on my toes and say like just adapt and um so starting at cape town tv i began working on open studio mm -hmm. um and i learned there not only did i learn a lot just about cape town in yeah. general because it's like such a community-based show yes. that i'm um, get to work and the first thing i do is read the news <laughs> and so oh. i'm like <laughs> crazy so more in tune with what's happening in cape town than i am ever about what's happening at home <laughs> but crazy um, so I learned about that and all of the like nonprofit organizations that yeah. are happening in the community here. Um, and with Open Studio, I definitely saw how the community works together and how yeah. Cape Town TV is really a community channel yeah. and how it touches people like directly. Like I love people it. come on to we're coming on to Open Studio to talk to like their neighbors yeah and they were coming and they said i need funds for this project that i'm doing to help my other neighbor yes. like can you help them so i thought can that was you help so me rob a bank right yeah, exactly <laughs> yeah they're like well help me rob a bank um, crazy and then after open studio i came to work here on mm -hmm. coffee and comedy and hype it up which are both definitely more energetic yeah. shows and high intensity and yeah. there's always things happening in their colors and music and it's just super it's fun crazy. um yeah, so here I've just been playing games, making games. <laughs> and um, testing your creative skills, yeah, exactly. basically. But we, we're going to miss you, because um, now we're going to have to terrorize someone else yeah. for these type of things. <laughs> um, but when you go back, in, in your whole three months that you've been here, what are you going to miss the most about 
been in Cape Town? Oh, that's a hard question. Have you had a Gatsby yet? No, I haven't, actually. I know. Wait, what can, what, can you explain what it is to me? <laughs> Wait, what is it? Our, what we're going to do is we're going to buy your Gatsby okay. when you go to the airport. Okay. And we'll smuggle it with you okay. across. across and you start your own Gatsby place oh, in New York. Oh, that might do well. Yes, definitely, definitely. But what are you going to miss the most? I think I'm going to miss... Um, the diversity in the nature mm -hmm. and the diversity just in like I'm walking down the street and I look one way and there's, there's something. something and I look the other way and it's just a completely different thing. Wow. And the people, Cape Town TV, the people here. <laughs> Crazy. Now I worked at a call center in my days and we we were Australian based company, so okay. we deal with Australian customers. And whenever I said I'm from Cape Town, they'd either ask me where that is, okay. on which planet, <laughs> and also if I'm in a jungle and there's like lions, yeah. like just lions. walking. Your pet dog yeah. is a lion. Instead. Did you expect that from like when you heard, oh my word, I'm going to South Africa? Mm. Is it, be honest, did you think, what surprised you the most? That we have Wi-Fi or that we have fiber? <laughs> I think I think the city surprised me the most. I was like, what I'm there was definitely a little bit of like, oh, I didn't necessarily think there would be lions roaming around. <laughs> I knew I have that. But if much. one were to show up, you're like, all right, I'd in South like, Africa. Yeah, though. I mean makes sense. It I am in South <laughs> Africa. Like I'd turn my head, but I wouldn't be like crazy. Great. And yeah. At least when you go back, um, when people ask you about your time in South Africa, the first thing you can say is, no, there's not just a random yeah. land walking around. Is so we're going to we're gonna play a game when we come back from All the right. ad break. And uh, we're basically going to be testing your knowledge on Cape Town oh, slang, no. what you've learned here, etc., okay. etc., et so that you can take it back and start a revolution of colored people there and of South Africans there and start, I don't know, Selling Gatsby's and, okay. and rutis on Sundays and donuts and and I don't know chimer I don't know <laughs> what people sell <laughs> randomly. We're gonna take a quick ad break when we come back. We have more of Izzy and DJ Malice is taking us. Welcome back to Coffee and Comedy with myself, DJ Malice, and my boy, Riza Forbes. And we are saying actually bye to a special lady that took over our show like a couple times, you know, by the name of Easy. She's going back to USA soon. So it's a sad thing, but, you know, it has to happen sometimes. It has to happen. Has to happen. Has to happen. All Americans must go back hey. to an overpop. The States, <laughs> they must go back to the States. <laughs> Easy, we're playing our game today, and uh, we basically need to test your knowledge when it comes to the slang used in South Africa, but more specifically in Cape Town, because right. this is where you were at, okay? So I don't know if you have been taking note um, of what people say. Yeah, I've been trying. We'll <laughs> see with your we'll answers, see. okay? <laughs> so we have six questions for you. Oh, brother. And then we have six words for you that you should use in a sentence or in a phrase. Because you sometimes people say, "Do you understand the words coming out like, of my yeah. mouth?" And you're like, "Yeah." Me. <laughs> so I think with a sentence, oh, no. if you put it in a sentence, will be really be, okay. you know, if easy is easy. So our game is actually called Easy Asi Domi, <laughs> which is easy isn't dumb. Oh, thank you. So easy Asi Domi, it's a play on words as well. Okay. Easy Asi Domi, but you're the one that's going to prove if we're lying or not. <laughs> okay, so our very first question for you. Here we go. In America, it is known as French fries. Oh. What is it known as in Cape Town? Chips. Okay, that's good. I've ordered enough chips <laughs> being here to know that one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> slap chips, chips, I give it to you. The USA calls it a gas station. What does South Africans call it? I know this one. Think back. A garage. I, yes! Yes! 
I'm sure yeah. when you when you went to the garage, you're like, hi, welcome to the garage. I'm not in my house now. <laughs> where, where am I now? Oh. Okay, in America, with friends and family on weekends, mm. you normally would have a barbecue. Yeah. What is it called in Cape Town that you would have on weekends? So you have a barbecue, what do we call it? I'm sure you went to go buy me. A bride. Yes. Three out of three people. Oh, maybe three I have not paying attention. Yeah. Okay, number four. Driving over a traffic light usually gets you a ticket mm -hmm. in America. What is a traffic light called in Cape Town? A robot. Look at you. I got no my gun, man. That one I've taken note of because I'm like, what? I've been in an Uber and they say during like load shedding, they'd be the like, oh, the robots are off. And like you, y'all have robots <laughs> already? <laughs> like, looking around, like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Crazy. Four out of four, nice. Okay, number five. Normally when someone gossips about you in the USA, you won't speak to them ever again. Mm -hmm. What is gossip called in Cape Town? Do you feel like you know it? No. Can you give me the first letter? Script. Skinner. It's called Skinner. Say Skinner. Skinner. You don't know. So when you're at the airport at Cape Town International, you just look at someone and go, don't skin about me, please. <laughs> don't skin about me. Okay. Okay. So you have Scanner. four out of five. Do that, please. Do that, please. Yeah, please <laughs> don't. You will not board that plane at all. You will not you will go not make the plane it to get on a plane. Don't okay. do that. Okay. I won't okay. <laughs> four out of five. Last question for you. Okay. When you want to have fun and dance, you would normally Always. go to the club in the states. Where would you go to in Cape Town? What would the club be called in Cape Town? Hmm. I'm sure a lot of people ask you if you went to the club. Or to the, start with the, J Joel? Yes! Oh! Wow, crazy, crazy. I have heard that one. See, we should I give. I thought there was like a house party though. A Joel. A Joel, yeah. A Joel could be the club, yeah, a house okay. party. We can, we're having a Joel right now. All I right. Mean, come on. Okay. <laughs> uh, we should get you a South African ID very soon. Cause I mean, Thank you me. got five out of six. So you only got one wrong. So that means Skin that. Yeah, Skinner. so people wasn't skinnering about you oh, as much as we thought um, <laughs> that they would. All right, use the following in a in a sentence. Okay. The word liquor. Okay. Um, that Gatsby yesterday was liquor. Okay, that that answer is liquor. That thank answer. you. Thank you. All right, use the the word away in a sentence. <laughs> Um, I've heard a lot of just like, away, away. Okay. <laughs> so, but let me think. Um, Did you say away? Away. Oh. Away. Because then away with that answer. Away. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you think it if means? If you said, oh, are you coming to work tomorrow? I'd say away. <laughs> Look at Izzy. Is that, that works? Yes, yes. Okay. Use this word in a sentence. Boom. <laughs> Pump. <laughs> Pump. Pump? Uh-huh. Um, all right. Did, do you want to pump? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think Izzy has been spending <laughs> way too much time in Cape Town. Pump is a pump, a pool pump. What you said. A pool pump? Yeah. Pump in Afrikaans. A pump. Oh. You pump the mattress okay. or a pool pump. Or Pump. Yeah. <laughs> Izzy, I don't know. We, we must edit that part out. I don't know. We have one more for you. Do we still have time for that floor? Okay. Uh, use the following in a sentence. Boot. Did I hear that one? Okay. Boot. 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 Yeah. Um, have you never heard of Boot. Boot. No. Boot. But let me... Does it sound like? It sound like it looks. Pura voz. It's a, yeah, it sound, it sound like it looks, eh? I'm nervous now after <laughs> the last one. How do you, 
Malas. That's Buruwo Salak. I don't know why you were sweating here on the show. We got a show. Buruwo. You can buy it. You can eat it. You can warm it. It comes in all all types of sizes. Hey. It's a food. Yes. So okay. use it in a sentence. The Buruwo was really good at the Bry last. There we go. At look at the Bry. And that is where you you Bry your Buruwo. We have It is. It's sausage. Okay. It's it's actual sausage. Okay. Sausage. Yes. Don't know why the person at home's laughing. <laughs> quick, quick. Use the phrase now, now in a sentence. Oh, when is dinner going to be ready? Now, now. And what does it mean to Not you? Not now. <laughs> <laughs> in like 45 minutes. Yeah. Now, now <laughs> does not mean right now. I'm sure maybe that side would be like I'm now, now there, then you there. Yeah. I'm surprised you didn't ask about that side and And this, this side. I, that's something new that I've Is it? heard here. No, no. No, that side. Oh, that side. It's something new. Yeah, we don't like. say that side. Just What do you guys say? In America. Or <laughs> Izzy, thanks so Over much, there. Nick, For you, uh, we wish you a safe flight home, safe travels, and thank, thank you so you. much for joining us in Cape Town and on the show. I'm Izzy Forbes. That's DJ Malas. We're saying goodbye to Izzy. Thank She's you. gonna do a home dance. I don't know. We out. We love you. Thank you.